let's do this. So, hey everybody, uh, both of those of you virtually, the millions and millions of you across the globe, as well as the people here, um, welcome to the official Kickstarter launch party for uh, for Clopus' new game, Stereotypical. Um, so my name is Maya, I'm with the Idea Hub, I've worked with Clopus quite a bit, and I'm just going to be kind of doing a little bit of the MCing tonight, and um, introducing a little bit of what Kickstarter is, how it works, and then introducing our speakers as well. So... Um, First of all, just a really exciting game. I think that there's a lot of information about the game on the Kickstarter campaign to learn more about it. Um, but it's got a great mission, so I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, so I wanted to start off by just talking a little bit about what the goals are. So Kickstarter is a, is a platform. And um, who here is, how many of you guys that I can see have used Kickstarter before or, or crowdfunding? Anybody know what it is? A little bit? Yeah, okay. So what happens with, with crowdfunding campaigns is... Um, you are able to see a product or an idea or a game that you like. And before it actually comes out, you're able to pledge money to make it happen. And then you get a copy of that, of that game. Okay. What's really unique, unique about this is that you, um, and, and the Clopus team is, is in a really great shape for this, but you're able to get the funding before the game is actually made and it enables you to take that extra step. So for the Clopus team, this is an exciting opportunity to build this really cool original title. So that's kind of how it works. Um, Kickstarter is, a, is unique compared to other platforms in the sense that if they don't meet their goal, they don't get any funding from, for the game at all. So it's really important to get that, it's, to really hit that goal. And then after hitting the goal, there's all kinds of stretch goals. So you hit that goal, that's great. But if the Clopus team gets more, there's a lot of other really cool stuff they can do as well. So the more we get, is uh, the better. Um, also, I think really important about crowdfunding is that it's not like shopping at a store where you are looking for the best deals, all that kind of stuff. There's a support element to this as well, where, you know, maybe you could give X, but if you can give more, that's going to help the team uh, get a lot farther along. So I did um, a Kickstarter campaign for my book called The Startup Mentor. And, um, you know, you could do a pledge for $10. I had people just give me $1,000. Thank you very much. Nobody actually goes and buys a book for $1,000. And that's just like a 600 year old Bible or something like that. Right. But that was great. And that really helped me get those books up and running. So um, I think whatever people can give, that's going to really help uh, bring this game to life. Um, the, so it's launching tonight and the deadline, uh, the campaign is over August 24th. So I hit that. Remember that? Cause I actually, I had people from my campaign that emailed me like, I'm so sorry. I, I missed the deadline. So it's just remember that date. If you're not pledging tonight, um, let's see. So I think that's most of it. And also what I wanted to say is that, um, for those of us in the region, I think that um, the Clovis team is something really important to this to this area. And I love having a gaming company right here. It's awesome. The connection with the university, all the student teams who were able to, to work on this team. I mean, I'm sure you'll hit a lot more on that. Maybe you will. But anyways, so um, we've got a lot of the university connections as well. But it just plays a really important role in the Platteville community as well. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So um, let's see. I think that's everything for me right now. Uh, our first speaker is going to be... Detective Latte himself. And then after him, we're going to have uh, David. Oh, here you are, David. Yep. And then we're going to have Michael, uh, Dr. Douglas Slent, um, Tammy Avedovich, and then finally Scott Adams is going, to, is going to bring everything home. Oh. Hi, everybody. It's good to be with you today. I am the Detective Latte. Uh, but when I'm not solving cases, I uh, am a master of disguise. I'm actually David from Clopus. Uh, I'm the COO of the company. It's very good to be with you this evening. I appreciate everybody who made an attempt to come out uh, physically. And for those of you who are joining us online, thank you so much for being a part of this journey that we're about to take uh, for the students that uh, were working with us on this project. It's been so much fun uh, to really collaborate together, to laugh together, to come up with all these wonderful ideas. And I'm just really excited, the team's really excited to just bring these uh, things to life. So uh, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna talk about uh, the Kickstarter project a little bit. And um, we, uh, got to the point in the project and collaborating with the students where we're so close, <laughs> like we're so close to being able to uh, wrap everything together, but there's still a number of pieces that are needed in order for us to be able to finish the game and have it be something that 
not only the students can show off as, yeah, I actually did that. I made a real product that's out there that, um, that people can use, that they can have fun with. Uh, but we, uh, we were able to get to a point where it's like, you know, the things that are left, it's like, oh man, there's going to really going to need to be a lot, a lot, uh, more funding to be able to push this to the end. And so, uh, today, you know, we're having this launch party to really to celebrate that achievement of the students, uh, to, uh, celebrate our, um, connection to the Southwest Wisconsin area and uh, show that, yeah, you can build some pretty cool things organically. You know, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you got a vision for something, if you dream for it, uh, you can make it happen. So uh, we're hoping that all of you will support us in this. And I have a special video that I'd like to show. When you think Southwest Wisconsin, you should think mobile games. That's right. And if you look at me and think I'm an electrical engineer, you'd be right about that too. What you probably weren't expecting was that I was going to tell you about this new mobile game called Stereotypical. You see, I'm the Chief Operating Officer at a little Midwestern video game studio called Clovis, where we make family-friendly video games. When the world started to turn upside down with pandemics and isolation, we decided that we wanted to team up with our local university to work with those computer science students and create a game that we thought the world needed. Stereotypical is a point-and-click, choice-based adventure game developed for Android and iOS. In this game, you'll solve cases as the quirky Detective Latte, or his super spy partner in crime and most trusted friend, Monica Mocha. Together, you'll solve cases and play through stories you'll think you've seen before. But you did. So what makes this game so great? Not only does it approach stereotypes and stereotypical thinking in an approachable way, but it was developed here. Here! In Southwest Wisconsin! Our studio collaborated with the Computer Science Senior Design class at the University of wisconsin Platteville. We showed them how to develop and design the game, while Clopas provided the art, the dialogue, and the other assets. But after the student's term ends, we really want to make sure that this game becomes the showpiece of their portfolio. And that's where you come in. Together we can make this quirky little game a reality. For us. For them. For you. So, what are we waiting for? <gasps> My hat! Get ready, and let's take on this mission together. Because life, it's anything but typical. just a few short moments I am going to be pressing the launch button and uh, when I push the launch button the page will officially go live and uh, those of you who are at the edge of your seats just waiting to hit the pledge button uh, for whatever tier you're going to be pledging at uh, you'll be able to do that uh, we also have some stations set up here for those of you who are here that are looking to pledge uh, we've got two stations set up behind this wall uh, that you'll be able to do that. Uh, so um, before I before I do that, before I get to the button, uh, I'm going to introduce Michael uh, Herrera to the stage, and he's going to talk a little bit more about uh, the project. Thank you, Latte. For those of you just tuning in. Stereotypical is a mobile game, uh, episodic mobile game, that Colpus, uh, the, the studio that I work for, uh, is developing uh, for uh, Android and iOS. 
Uh, we're hoping to make a game that um, not only has impact, but can make you chuckle a little bit, uh, give you something to think about, and have some fun as you, as you do it. Uh, you've introduced to Detective Latte. Uh, he's kind of the uh, main character in, our, in, our, in this adventure we're creating. We also have a few other characters, uh, Monica Mocha, as well as, Prof as Professor Java and uh, a guy named Floyd. Um, a lot of what I'm going to tell you tonight, it's all in our Kickstarter page. So I really encourage you to kind of check that out, look through it. It tells you how to play the game, what kind of rewards and tiers we have, um, all the reason why we made the game, and just a little bit about Clopus itself. I just wanted to spend some time uh, to let you know um, how excited we are about this project, whether it be uh, the art uh, that we're creating for it, uh, the narrative. We have a narrative team uh, that really uh, is excited about creating different stories. And I can reveal to you now that the first episode in this episodic game is called Alien Invasion. It's about little green men and uh, the stereotypes associated with those little green men and, and kind of the adventures that uh, Detective Latte and Monica Mocha get into and um, cows. Yes, cows. Anyway, um, we're hoping that you enjoy picking this up, playing it casually. You can play it a little bit at a time and just continue off from where you left off. Um, there are things uh, you can do episode at a time. Um, you can rewind. Uh, you'll have uh, different lives. There's some RPG elements to it uh, so that you can lose lives and then gain lives. Uh, you've got some uh, different achievements that you can do. Uh, so there's all kinds of things uh, that you can do. We're really excited for, to, get to, to get you to look at this game. And so uh, we're prepared once we launch to answer your questions. And we really encourage you and thank you uh, for your for supporting us. Thanks. Awesome. So as, as has been mentioned, uh, the students working on this have been a big part of it. So we're going to have Professor Douglas Lent talk about that. So. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Doug Salent. I'm an assistant professor in the computer science and software engineering department at uw Platteville, And I kind of want to tell you a little bit about our experience uh, working with Clopus on starting um, this project. So what we do at Platteville, we have a senior design course. Ours for software engineering is actually a whole year, two courses, fall and spring. And we started uh, with this idea of this game stereotypical provided to us by Clopus. And we were kind of like, okay, we got the kind of idea, kind of what we were doing. And then throughout the first semester, a lot of it was uh, requirements gathering by our team, which was roughly 17 students in our class. So we would kind of just figure out, okay, how do we do this? How do we do that? What do we need? We worked out details. And Clopus was very nice to us. They were always available to answer our questions. I met with Mike once a week, gave him kind of the update and relayed some questions our students had. And what was really cool is they actually let us use their studio with the new machines. So we had some students go there, and that was beneficial, too, because I got to work uh, more closely with the Clopus team. Um, things that were really beneficial to our students about this project, um, it was a whole, the whole class was a team, which is something they haven't done yet in their curriculum. So working with a team of four is very different than working with a team of 17 in terms of scalability of processes, which was learned in throughout the course. Uh, very good experience, although fun at times, mm -hmm. put it that way. Um, another thing was, which was actually kind of a good thing, although students didn't realize at the time, they had to work with uh, Unity, it's a game engine, and they had no ex prior experience to that. And that's good because we teach them all these hard skills in our curriculum, which are current technologies most of the time. We just didn't teach Unity. But in 10 years from now, those may not be the same hard skills they need. They're going to have to learn new skills. So this was a good experience for them to say, hey, you got to learn something new. You start from scratch and figure it out, find some good resources. So that was, that was a good experience for our students to actually work as a team with a new technology. And I think the final product came out pretty, pretty well as a foundation for a starting point for this. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Uh, next, it is my honor to bring up uh, Chancellor Tammy Abedovich. Well, 
thank you everyone. I'm, I'm happy to be here today. Um, what a great partnership um, that we have at the University of Wisconsin Platteville with, with the small businesses and industry in our region here in Southwest Wisconsin. And I just want to say what a wonderful opportunity for our students as well. You know, at, at UWP we talk a lot about being stewards of place and that means for us that we support our communities, we support, support the organizations, we support our schools, um, and, and we support small businesses as well. And so that's what's wonderful about this incubator and, and what's coming out of this incubator. So I just want to say congratulations to Clopas. I want to say um, great job. Um, looks like this is going to be a fun game. And, and let me just say what a wonderful thing for our students to be involved in. Dr. Salent, um, thank you for your work you've done with our students. We consider this a high impact practice. Um, and that's when our students get real world experience on a project and like he said, um, maybe using some critical thinking skills. And when you use those critical thinking skills, it just um, moves you into the future and lets you uh, problem solve into the future in ways that you never have before. So um, not only that, I think <laughs> when you think about it, our STEM students had an opportunity to think about, well, what about business and entrepreneurial skills as well um, as we think about this? So. Congratulations to everyone. This is truly what we're supposed to be doing at the University of Wisconsin Platteville, and we love this collaboration. So, thank you. And last of all, I'd like to introduce the, the CEO, Scott Adams, who's got, you might not be able to see it, but he's got a holster for his hot sauce. So, I think that's uh, it's a good end, wait, no, to end on. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to mess with that. So. You never know when I'll come in here and be, hi, guys. Some of you know me, some of you don't. Um, it is a great privilege and an honor to be here today. This project is something very special because I really wasn't paying much attention to it. This is something my team came up with. They wanted to do this. They ran with it. They set up the interface with the university. And I'll be honest, I've worked with university in the past to do some other projects, not this university, a different one, which I'm not going to discuss, um, but I was less than thrilled with the outcome of what happened there. So, To be honest, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to let my team go have their fun, do what they think they want to do, and just I'll sit back and, and nod at the end and say, lessons learned, right guys? No, that's not what happened. It was totally, totally mind-blowing. I went in, I went in cold where the seniors came in and did their presentation. They uh, had a meeting room up in the uh, student union building, I think it was, and uh, I met the uh, professor for the first time, and, and it was like, okay, let's see what they got. And they started, and I went, oh, okay, wait a minute. These are kids that had very little background uh, in the language they're using, and no background in the engine they were using. And yet they were doing things that I know was, was technically difficult. And it was being done well. And the pieces were coming together. And I'm getting to the point where, okay, now I actually want to play this game. I'm getting excited. I want to get my hands on it. And I was like, oh, you're not done. That's right. <laughs> they got a, an incredible framework in place. Um, it's good. I, it really is. It's, it's not, well, it's not stereotypical, that's for sure. <laughs> it wasn't what I expected. And I, um, I'm hoping everybody else is going to catch this fever and, and, and uh, jump on board. Um, it's very special. We need your help, though. Uh, we're still a very small studio and we're juggling a lot of projects and a lot of things happening. Um, as you know, or if you don't know, make sure you check out our Clopus webpage. You'll see some of our past efforts. Uh, one of the games is in early release and we're trying to get that wrapped up. Uh, there's a game coming out shortly that is not officially released uh, that is gonna be happening on, uh, plat on uh, mobile pl platforms very soon, um, which is what I've been very much involved with while stereotypical has been brewing. If we can get the funding put together so we can move into the next phase, I want to make this a major effort because I think this is going to go, go well and it's going to be a lot of fun. 
And I don't want to just meet our goals, guys. I need your help. I want to exceed those goals. We got some stretch goals on that page. Please, come on, help us out. If we can meet those stretch goals, this is going to be, this is going to be awesome. Let's show the world what we can do with modern computers with uh, um, concepts that are, might be a little different than what you're used to, especially the game. This game breaks molds, breaks patterns. So join us. I want, I want, to, I want you to join us and be part of this. So um, I'm going to wrap this up. I do want to say thank you. And I don't want to miss anyone. <laughs> okay, so um, Kate, uh, Kate Kuzel, Kuzel and Cindy Martins, we're in the incubator here. We're a small company, folks. We're not big. We're not mega bucks. We're not doing million dollar projects here. Um, for those of you who know my history, know what I did in the last century, uh, that was that was a big deal back then. We did some major, major projects. This is this is a smaller startup, and so it, there's room for everybody to grow. Um, we're not just about only making fantastic games. We're also about growing a team here, where people are learning and growing as they as they develop their skills. So we're in the Platteville Incubator. That's where our business is. It started just like my company, Adventure International, started way back when. We didn't have basements in Florida, but it was a spare room. Same concept. Clopas started in the basement of my house here locally. We then moved upstairs to a larger facility, which actually was our indoor pool room. But when I built that room, it was designed so the pool could be taken down and the space used if we needed it. So that's what we did. We moved the pool outside and we put Clopas in the pool room. That didn't last long. That's why we ended up here in this incubator. And we've been here now for a number of years. Uh, we're getting near the point where we're hoping to get big enough to fledge out and move out into the world. But during this time, we greatly appreciate the folks here at the incubator. They've been doing uh, mentoring, they've been doing helping, and it's a fantastic, fantastic facility. So Kate and Cindy, definitely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Maya, I'm pronouncing it wrong. I always Maya. get Mia. Maya, you got it right. Maya, I got it right. The for, forget that scratch. Rewind. No edit. Okay, we're live. Uh, thank you, Maya. <laughs> Maya Donahue, Idea Hub. He's been our MC uh, tonight, um, and also he's also been a tremendous asset to Clopus. Our speakers, David Ababio. He's our uh, COO. Uh, personally. I've known David since he was a little baby. He's literally one of my godsons. And he is incredibly talented. He's also gone through the UWP system himself. And he, he's a graduate and uh, uh, a double E, besides also being uh, very gifted in all the business here. Uh, Doug Salent, I can't say thank you enough for what you did with these kids. He has done an incredible job of shepherding them. And as he told me, well, he said, you know, <clears throat> when I'm having him do this, I'm actually was <clears throat> not aware of the, the technical challenges either, but I knew how to teach them how to find it out. And that's what a good teacher does. Now, that is amazing. Uh, Chancellor Tammy, thank you so much for being able to be here. That That is, to me, it's very touching that you'd take your time out the Chancellor of the University coming here and talking with it. Greatly appreciated. And thank you for letting us use your student and professor in this. This is a marvelous effort, and I hope we can do it do it again in the future. Um, thank you for Scott. At Wait a minute. That's me. <laughs> Who wrote this? OK, thank you. Thank you, Scott. Wait, that's me. OK, um, thank you to all the students out there. I hope you guys are tuned in and watching this. I want you to see that your efforts are not going to be wasted. I want you to see what happens with your with your senior project. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, party planner extraordinaire, Cameron Hill. So big thank you to her. She's um, She is uh, our uh, liaison with the world. And not only a party planner, but she's the one who's been 
getting all the uh, tweets out and keeping Clopas face out in the world. She, she is a, uh, also a product of UWP, and she has uh, incredible marketing talents and just greatly appreciate it. And last but not least, our campaign supporters. That's you guys. That's you guys. And if you haven't done anything for me to say thank you yet, now's a good time to do so. The page <laughs> is live. Come on in. The water is great. I don't care what level you join. Do what you feel is how you're being inspired to move. Let, let, let your conscious be your guide. Let the Holy Spirit come into you. Whatever is opening up, see where you want to be in this endeavor. We need you. Because honestly, if we don't go forward with this, then it's, it's not going to happen. I don't see another route right now. This is the route. We really need you. This is, this is not a gimmick. We've got an intent to get this out and do a fantastic job, and it's got potential. You'll see all the stuff on the page. I haven't even seen the final page yet, so I'm sure there's some uh, surprises. And the video, that video, David, thank you. I know you are working with the team to get that video out. I have not seen it till today. If you missed the opening of this, you should be able to rewind it. The video is going to be on the page. Yep. So make sure you play it. And thank you, David. That, that puts it across amazing what we're trying to do. Thank you all. I'm not going to speak anymore. I will mention that for those of you that are watching live, um, I'm going to be doing, I've been asked to do a, uh, another live later this week for, for a computer retro club. So I think Lopez will have the information on the web page for that. But for right now, concentrate on stereotypical. We need you. Let us know you're there. Thank you. God bless all. All right. Thanks a lot, Scott and everybody. Um, I will just wrap up by saying that uh, the page is now live. There's some pledges that have happened already, so it's time to get those pledges in to make this game a reality. So um, excellent, everybody. Let's have a good evening, and thanks so much.